Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my big, fluffy, beautiful dinner rolls. Now maybe some of you have never made dinner rolls before and you're afraid to make them. Now don't be afraid. I have been making these dinner rolls for years and remember, they are no fuss dinner rolls. And today I'm gonna show you how to make them step by step. Let's get started. Now I'm gonna be preparing my dough in my Dutch oven. This is how I always make them and I always use this Dutch oven. I'm gonna set my heat on medium and I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds to get nice and hot. So it's nice and hot. Now I'm gonna add my butter. I have one stick of butter. This is regular salted butter, that's eight tablespoons. I'm gonna move the butter around until it gets nice and melted like this. You can do it all in one pot without having to use any big bowls. You don't have to use your stand-up mixer or anything like that. See, I've got a big stand-up mixer, but I don't like dirty dishes. And it always works out perfectly in here like this. So my butter is nice and melted, see? And obviously it's nice and hot. Now I'm gonna add my milk. I have two cups of cold milk. This is whole milk. Now, since the butter was nice and hot and the cold milk went in there, the temperature went down and it's nice and warm, just like a warm baby's bottle. And that's what we want. Now I'm gonna add my sugar. I have three tablespoons of regular sugar. I'm gonna move it around like this, just for a little bit like that. So now I'm gonna remove my pot off the heat. Now, if you touch your milk, you'll see that it's nice and warm just like a warm baby's bottle, and that's what we want. I'm gonna add two packets of Rapid Rise Instant Yeast, and I'm gonna put them in here. Now each packet is two teaspoons and a fourth. Once I put them in here, I'm gonna give it a nice stir and bring that yeast in together really good with all the other ingredients. Don't be afraid to give it a stir. I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it sit there for 15 minutes and I'm gonna wait until that yeast comes alive. You want it to get all nice and bubbly. I'll show you the way it's gonna look. Just 15 minutes, don't move it, just leave it alone. So it's been 15 minutes, now we can remove the lid. Look at that. You see how it's real nice and bubbly? That's because our yeast is alive. Now, if yours doesn't do that, it could be because your mixture was either too hot or too cold. You might have to redo it again. So you wanna make sure that it's bubbly. Now I'm gonna add my eggs. I have two eggs right here. These were extra large. Now I'm gonna add my salt. Now, even though I used salted butter, I also used just a little bit of salt. So it'll come out just perfect, see? I have five and a half cups of all-purpose flour and I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. And I'm gonna mix it in. I wanna make sure that it gets nice and wet like this. Don't get impatient. And I'm gonna add a little more. And mix it in a little bit at a time. Once you see that your flour is nice and wet, now you add a little more. And continue the process until you've got it all in here. Now, as you can see, everything has come in together really well. Look at that, see? So now I'm gonna replace my lid and it's time to get it to rise. So here's my pot, it's ready to rise. Now, many of you know that we're here in Texas and it's really hot here. So that means our garage is nice and warm, just like a warm oven. So I'm gonna take my pot and I'm gonna put it there on top of a working table with a lid on and I'm gonna let it rise. 45 minutes to one hour until it doubles in size. Now, if you don't have a garage or it's not warm where you live, then you wanna turn your oven on for just a few seconds. And as soon as you feel it getting warm, you wanna turn it off. Then you put your pot in there and you let it sit there until it rises and doubles in size, okay? So I'll see you in about 45 minutes to one hour. So my 45 minutes are up. Look at my dough. It's beautiful, big and fluffy. You see, this is how you want it to be, double in size. Now, before I start making my little dough balls, 
I'm going to spray my dish. I'm going to be using a nine and a half by 13 and a half dish, and it's two and a half inches deep. I'm going to spray it lightly with some nonstick spray. See, no need to fuss with parchment paper or anything like that. This works out just perfect. So I'm going to set it aside. And now I'm gonna dump this on my countertop. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of flour right here on my countertop, not too much. You don't wanna over flour the dough, see? Just a little bit like this. So now I'm gonna dump my dough right here and it just deflates by itself as you dump it over. See how easy it is? Now I'm gonna flour my hands just lightly like this, see? And I'm gonna give it a light kneading. Now you don't want it very sticky, but you don't want it very dry either. Just a little bit like that. It doesn't take a lot. So I'm gonna use my dough scraper and I'm gonna give it a few turns like this. It starts losing its stickiness. It's just perfect. You just wanna knead it about 10 or 15 times or so. Now, after you knead it, you might get a little worried and say, I overdid it. You probably didn't. This is a very forgiving recipe, so don't worry about it. See, it's not sticky, it's just moist, and it's perfect. I've got a little scale right here. I'm gonna get me a little ball like this, and I want it to weigh about 2.4 ounces. That's perfect, see? So using these fingers right here, I'm just gonna tuck it in like this from the bottom. See, and the top is getting nice and smooth, like that. Then I pinch it. You wanna seal it right there. See what a pretty little ball that is? Now you can also put a little flour right here on your counter and put it like that. And then just make you a little ball like that. See how pretty that is? Now here's my dish. I'm gonna set it right here in the corner. And then you do it again. Tuck it in like this. And set it right here next to the other one. I like for them to all be about the same size because this way they'll bake the same. Now I'm gonna set it right here. You see? I usually put about four right there, and four works just perfect. So I'm gonna continue the process until I have them all done. I usually make about 20 or so. So I'll show them to you when I'm done. So here they are, perfect. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So now I'm just gonna cover them up with a towel, just lightly, just like this. And I'm gonna take them back to the garage and I'm gonna let them rise for another 45 minutes until they're double in size. So it's been 45 minutes, and I want you to take a look at these beautiful dinner rolls. They have risen just beautifully, look at that. That's what a nice warm room does. Now I've got my oven set to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put them right on the center rack for about 30 minutes until they're nice and golden. And I'm not gonna brush anything on them. No egg wash, no milk, just like this. So I'll see you in a little bit. So here they are. Look at this. Oh, just beautiful. It was about 31 minutes. You wanna keep an eye on them. And when you see that they're nice and golden, then that's when you take them out. Now you wanna brush them with melted butter immediately once you take them out. That's gonna make them super soft, shiny and beautiful. So I'm just gonna separate them a little bit so that I can take them out and then put them on a rack so they can cool. Otherwise, they'll get real steamy in your dish when they're cooling down and then they'll get soggy. And to store them, you wanna let them cool completely, totally. And then you can wrap them up really good with paper towels and then put them in a Ziploc bag and you can keep them in your fridge like that and warm them up the next day. Let's get one of these out. Oh my gosh, look at this. Just perfect. 
and I'm gonna show you how I like to eat these. Besides mashed potatoes and gravy and turkey, oh, you've gotta have plenty of butter on them like this. Mm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. I also have some of my sweet orange marmalade. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you enough about these. They are absolutely heavenly delicious. So these are my no fuss dinner rolls. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And do share. Thank you.